Welcome back everyone to Sexy Brutal. Last episode, we kind of took a turn for the weird. I have no idea what's going on anymore, but um, apparently there's an old man being held hostage in this basement. So first things first, we got a new item, which was the Sapphire Tear Ring. The only thing I kind of remember is, um, let's see here, we can go, I don't exactly remember where we're going, but that's not the right way. Um, I do remember there was a door that had a teardrop on it that we couldn't go through before, and that was the house in the garden, so we're going to go ahead to that location and check that out. Other than that, I'm glad people are enjoying the series, or at least people are stopping in to watch. Greatly appreciate that. Come over here. Did we not open this? I thought we did. Also, just so you guys know as well, um, I found something that's kind of like YouTube that I'm going to try to upload some of these videos to as well. Um, well, here that it does that. Um, VidMe, I'm going to kind of check that out for a little bit, see if I want to upload videos there, just to try it out. So. so to anyone who's currently watching from that, that service, thank you very much, and anyone who doesn't, hasn't heard of it, go check it out. It's kind of cool. I've seen a lot of people moving to there. Oh, shoot. Run, 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 run. I forgot Aram was in the bar. Okay. Actually, we should be able to go around him, right? The door is locked, but I can't open it. Wait, I wonder something. What was the key to the, uh... Key of old habits? We haven't found a use for that yet. Is that gonna be for that area? I think the key was um right here. Nope. No, the key of old habits was up here. No. It was up where's that path that goes upstairs? Was it Oh, it's over here. Come on, go in there. Sorry, I know I'm going kind of out of my way, but there is something I want to check out. Here you are. Key of old habits, right? Can we use this on this door? Ah, we can! Sweet! The door of old habits achievement unlocked. What's in here? Oh! Um... Hi! How are you? Grown, so he's here now. I want to play cards. I know a game, card game we can play. Blackjack! You love blackjack! I love blackjack! But I lost my cards. They stole my cards. Get my cards and we can play. I know where they are. You want the prize. I'll pretend there's a prize. So you want the card. Okay. So this is what collecting the cards is for. Huh. Whoa! What did that say? Dude! What? I think it said I will, I will kill you there. Well, maybe we don't want to get the cards then. <laughs> That was an interesting room. Okay, um, in case I run out of time, I'm gonna go ahead and do that.
Come on, go through the door, please. Thank you. We still haven't solved his murder mystery either. Like, why did he fall out of the window? And who the hell is he? Whatever. Okay, we should be able to go through this door now, right? Yeah, it's marked with a teardrop. And use. He's always reacting to Marquis Signet Ring. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. The clock in your pocket watch ticking perfect harmony just sound is soothing. What the hell is going on? Up with that clock right there. Here. The door. It seems like the heat is less intense on the side of the door. If only we were here earlier. Rewind. Such a long time. Would you talk to Lucas? Something seems to be troubling him. He's always looked up to you, you know. I know he teases you dreadfully about your lifestyle. But he respects you enormously. More than anyone else I know. I believe he always wanted to be more like you. Perhaps when he's a little older. Or more mature, I should say. Oh, you have our ring. Can I see? presenting it to us when you marry us. You must take it. Lucas will be missing it, I'm sure. Tell him I just need a rest. This little guy is heavy. I hope he won't be mad that I'm missing the party. I know he loves the mansion, but this is all we really ever really needed. This right here, this is our perfect little world. Please, tell him I will wait for him, won't you? I'll be right here whenever he is ready. going on. That was Eleanor, the Marquis's wife. She is always here, safe in this place. You have seen some of the truth now. The mansion was on fire. We, the guests, died. It should have ended there. But the creature in the golden mask, somehow he brought them all back, torturing us over and over. I tried to help them, tried to find some peace in all this pain. 
He is so, so strong. But with that ring, I believe you could stop him. There is a secret place. My own, I mean Sixpence, was so close. Take that ring to the room where Aram died. It will unlock the path. Eleanor left her mask for you. Take it. Eleanor's Mirror Walk. Eleanor was the life and soul that connected the people and places in the Sixiever town. Her mask allows you to travel by stepping into the mirrors placed throughout the mansion. You can now walk through any mirror in the Sixiever town. The movements of all staff and guests have also been revealed to you on the... Uh... There's more to that. Where did it go? Okay. <laughs> she always tried her so hard to see the best in people. But it's what you see that will matter. Now look in the mirror. Is Eleanor and the bloody girl the same person? They must be. And here we are back with this scene. What is going on here? I have never seen inside that place, you know. I'm not sure whether to rage impotently uh, or just be qu quietly glad. Anyway, I've watched you, Lucadio. Your arrival was somewhat unexpected. All these years, you've done your dutiful loop, dying along with sixpence in the chapel. And all of a sudden, one day, you are running around, ruining everything. It took me a little while to figure it out. Then, of course, I knew that bloody creature had to be involved. I'm sure she has spun all the tales about me and what's happening here. I'm sure they've left out some rather important information. I will utterly- I'll be utterly candid with you, Boone. I could end this right now. I could end you. I have the power. Perhaps she is right, and I am a monster. But we might all be monsters here. I want you to see. To understand. Come with me. This might be my last video. Now, the first question is, am I really a murderer? And to that, the answer is, most assuredly, yes. You see this man here, dear Reginald. I killed him, stone dead. It wasn't my finger that pulled the trigger, but it was my command. Family as well, you know. Staff member looks grimly dispassionate. He is doing his job without malice or pleasure. And what does it say over here? Sixpence is frozen perfectly in time. His face shows disbelief and agony. Ah, the heart of the casino. Our dear friend Clay. In this scenario, I had him die from a shot of venom from the same spider which would go to devour his precious wife. He did like a drink, Clay, but never when he was working, you know. The poison has burned the flesh around Clay's mouth down to the bone. It was a horrific way to die. It had almost a sense of sadness in the lifeless mechanical eyes of Sixpence Prototype Robot. So fitting. She was so beautiful, Trinity, the moth by moonlight. It was what Clay called her. She loved that name. A moth. So I thought it very fitting to, for her to be eaten by a giant spider. I never had one, you know. I'm sure nothing could possibly grow that big, but by gods I wish they did. I would have kept it in a room just like this one. That's an interesting comment. I can't imagine the terror she must have felt, bound by thread and waiting for the end. So wait, were these deaths real? A creature from the nightmare. Probably not, right? Because he just said this, but there's no way a spider would ever be that big. So was it the fire that killed him?
This one was rather fantastical. When we found that fish, I did so want to believe the stories of voodoo fish. I rather suspect it was quite just a guppy with some particularly bright colors. The man who sold it to me must have thought I was the most gullible person under the sun. But I wasn't paying for the fish, I was paying for the story. Eleanor called me a fool, but she did love to watch him in his tank. Best fortune I ever spent. Wait. So he's buying gifts for Eleanor. Is that Lucas? I'd like to say that Willa would never have hanged herself, but then a long time ago I stopped even thinking, trying to pretend I could understand what a mother person might do. I mean, why would he buy a gift for Eleanor? And he's referring to Mansion as his own, so it has to be Lucas, right? What is going on? Miss Tequila Bell, what a voice. She was a living work of art. I murdered her along with the notes of a song, and it had my staff throw her body down the garbage chute. Grayson Red. It wasn't really a party until those two got here. Grayson really is such a complete scoundrel, but my god, he's fun. Or at least, he was, at least. Red really would have done anything for him. I'm almost too certain that it would be so much more painful if Grayson had gone second, and Red had to watch him die first. Yes, perhaps I'll change this one. like a big gold bar. My mansion had many strange and wonderful creations, but a lift that doubled as an incinerator? That would have been something. I like to think if Orm were able to choose how he went, then perhaps he would have chosen something like this. Though in a way, he almost did. to waste. It wasn't just this mansion he built, you know. There are similar works of architectural genius all over the country. He was a grouchy and often tiresome old man. That mine was a crack, crack diamond. At least his works will live on. Well, Boom, you've heard my confession. As I said, I am a murderer. This is not a brag or a boast. I am not good or clever for it. I am sinful and gross. I've killed everyone in this mansion. But there is one person who didn't die. One man who survived the events of the day here. Who woke up in a broken body and a broken mind. They put a mask on his face and a machine forced him to breathe until he was fit to stand. If what the man in gold mask says is true, then the mask is a breathing aid. Who are the staff here? A man who served his time, but time could never be enough. A man who lived when all the others did not. I would like you to meet that man, Boone. I would like you to meet him and then decide if this day should end. will be behind these doors. Come and find me there. She and I will be waiting for you. However, the answers will have to wait till next video. It sounds like we've got one more to go and then we will be done with this game.
Unless you guys want me to see what happens when I collect all the cards and invitations. That'd be kind of cool, but as I said, I don't want to really be running around the entire mansion looking for everything. I might just do it and then show what happens. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks very much for watching, everyone, and hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.